Hi everyone, I'm Dave Giancola, joined again by Mike Trossel for another look at History Makers. Well, Mike, what happens when you combine a young phenom playing the best of his ability at a rain-softened golf course? Well, you get Rory McIlroy's dominant performance in the 2011 U.S. Open Championship, which was played at Congressional Country Club outside of D.C. Yeah, Dave, McIlroy opened with a 65 and faced little resistance moving forward en route to the championship record. Enjoy the best of Rory McIlroy's dominance in the 2011 U.S. Open. This is the 135 starting time. Please welcome from Northern Ireland, Rory McIlroy. I would suspect that Rory would have some real live jitters here after his performance in the last major on Sunday. Some of that will carry over. And uh, as I said earlier, this isn't a shot anybody looks forward to. That is a five iron solidly struck just right over the flagstick. That's a lot of club. Oh, beautiful shot. Disappointing for a long hitter. McElroy, can he open with Burton? It's been a really impressive start. Um, it, the ball is coming off very solidly. Um, He's played quickly, decisively. 124. Very high right at it. it. Brings that one back. When you've got a backstop like on 12 with that front hole location, you can do that. You can throw it past the hole and bring it right back to the cup. Rory for birdie. Read that beautifully. 173 to that top upper deck, 177 total. Right at it. He has been like the laser going down the fairways and almost pulled the muscle in his neck, gazing sideways watching Dustin Johnson and Phil Mickelson play for the first hour and a half of their round. And this has been an impressive eight holes he has played so far. He missed uh, one fairway, missed one green, got up and in has looked at Bernie every other hole. Well, the way he putts, waits no time. One look at it, lines it up, gets over it. In she goes to Roy McIlroy to minus two as he heads to the difficult 18th. Now on the tee, McIlroy is just gonna bust it down there. You wanna try to keep it down the right side because that fairway tilts to the left, Dottie. Well, it did start down the right. Long wait, that'll find the first cut, but it'll be sitting fine. That's a great spot. All right, so now we're live with the group behind McElroy, first to play. 192 that plays 10 yards shorter, 182 in reality. He's yelling for it to go. Oh, beauty by McElroy, he's been in total command. Here's McElroy with a chance to go birdie birdie to close out his opening nine, and it tips in. And what a opening nine for McElroy to come bouncing back after the disaster on his final nine at Augusta when he was the leader heading into that final nine. Seemed like he had his first major championship. He did in his grasp. But this has been an impressive comeback in the U.S. Open. And a little drama there as that just kind of fell in at the last second. Yeah, and a pretty common play here, Dan, now with the less than driver off the tee. Wind helping. Swung hard at that, Dottie, for some reason. Really Soft. swung hard. Yeah. High, hard hook. This guy is picking up confidence yep. with every yep. step. Just nailed it. Yep, good spot. Birdie time, maybe. Well, here's one of the young guys. McElroy set up nicely at the first. Birdie putt just inside right. Did not give the hole away. Boy, I just no yeah. leader by himself. And that is three in a row. And speaking of Rory McElroy, the last uh, a few moments here at Congressional, McElroy playing beautifully, and here he is. Yeah, 
his second shot at the fourth Chris the par four playing a short iron and how about this utilizing the slope behind the hole to bring the ball all the way back. And now here's McElroy for this short birdie putt Dottie Pepper. Just a smidge downhill. It's been a flawless round. Now second for Rory McElroy. Second of 254, Curtis. Drive just over 300 and yeah, just over 320. <laughs> it's not only in the fairway, it's got a perfect shot shape. It's got a perfect angle. It's been that sort of day. Go McElroy! Beautiful balance. Ah. Right at it. Needs to get up. It's going to get up. Curtis, this is an impressive round of golf we're watching here from this young man. It's an impressive golf swing, impressive golf swing and wing. When things are going well, you miss hit it ever so slightly, miss hit it so slightly, still a good shot. This to get to seven under. Nice, easy birdie, though. It's always nice to have. Well, he has played just by far the best golf today of anyone we have seen. And great to see, too. Now the man of the hour. And Rory laid up in trouble, Donnie. And this is a horrible lie. Um, the grass is going in the direction of the hole, but it's very, very thick and feet well above the ball. That is a tremendous golf shot. Well, that really is. I mean, you're hot. You're hot. Yeah. 64 would be very impressive. Yes, which he has a chance right here to do. One of the uh, weaker efforts that he's made on the green today, but still great round of golf. Six hundred sixty-five for Rory McIlroy, round one here at Congressional. Twenty-two years young. You couldn't tell. Well, they didn't yet the smile, huh? Well, it's business. Hell yeah. Well, it's a U.S. Open. It's tough. We got a card. Rory McIlroy, Northern Ireland, has certainly authored the story thus far here at Congressional. You've gotten off to great starts here in three of the last four majors. 17 of 18 greens hit today. What was working so well? Uh, I think everything. You know, I drove the ball good. Uh, my iron play was good. Um, you know, but I just feel feel very comfortable with my game, uh, comfortable on this golf course. And you know, when you have a combination like that and you hold a few putts, you know, everything's gonna gonna seem okay. With all the expectations inevitably heaped upon you, do you go home tonight with peace, or does a lot go through your mind? No, I'm I'm going home tonight with uh, you know, a pretty quiet mind. You know, I've shot a really good score today, but you know, I have to go out and back that up tomorrow and put myself in a good position going into the weekend. 22 years old from Northern Ireland, Rory McIlroy, 65 yesterday, four, a long range birdie, so much for nerves, sleeping on a nice three shot lead in the first round of the US Open Championship. On the par five sixth, Rory, his third shot, and look at how close that will get, feeling it all the way, stepped up, and for birdie on six, bang, just like that, two under on the day. But he was only getting started. His second shot on the short, par four eighth. And at first glance, a little long. Uh-oh, here it comes. Back, 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 back. Is it the luck of the Northern Irish? Perhaps not. Not the way Rory is playing. 10 under, and he hasn't even played a round and a half yet here at Congressional Country Club. Beautiful Andy, par four. Yeah, and play the toughest hole on the entire course yesterday. Just about almost four and a half. You know, his demeanor looks as if he's out here just a Saturday morning round with his buddies. Well, he has that type of swing, just a natural, gifted, good flow to it, full release. It's a wonderful thing to watch. 320 There's... down the middle is a real nice spot, Curtis. <laughs> 
178 yards, a couple of ridges that run through this, this green. There's a spine that runs from the front to the back. Easiest approach shot is a little left center of the green, but then you have to putt over the spine. Very dangerous going right at the hole. Yeah, you certainly expect this to be left. And there it is. A little bit on a down slope, which could be help him here. He'd help him run it over this little ridge that he has to get over. Andy, we can see the ridge right now. Yeah, that's pretty well done. Yep. Not great, but pretty well done. Still has a great chance to make par. We haven't even reached lunchtime at noon on Friday. For par. Good save. All important save. Something you have to do in the U.S. Open. You're just not going to hit all the fairways and all the greens. He's just about done that the first day and a half, but... Be shocked if it started right at the hole. And it started more toward the middle of the green. He's also trying to turn it right to left. Another well-played shot. Probably right where he was looking, Andy, about 15 feet right of the hole. Yep, smart play. Roy's birdie putt on the way. Firm enough. Oh. He's playing about as stress-free a golf as you could possibly play in a U.S. Open. This is, I think, one of the more difficult driving holes in the golf course because you can't see the entirety of the hole. And it's even easier now than it used to be years ago. They raised this fairway for the 97 Open about 15 feet. Widen it a little bit. McElroy. Another one looks like it's down the right center of the fairway. Just another beautiful drive. Getting boring, huh, Andy? This is good kind of boring, though. Boom. <laughs> yeah, 184, not taking much time. Hits the ball way up in the air, which is really yeah. beneficial on this type of shot. Be the number. Oh, and be the number, it is. Rory McIlroy making his way up to the green. Mentioned that he is the only man in the history of the U.S. Open to reach double digits under par in the first two rounds and just the fifth man ever to be double figures under par in an open. Rory made it to 10 under in 26 holes. Previous quickest to 10 under par in a U.S. Open, Gil Morgan, 39 holes. The amazing stat that we're looking at right there to me, Sean, is eight under par on the par fours. I think this pet will just slide very slightly from his left to right. Straight down the hill. 11 under par. The lowest anybody's ever been in the United States Open is 12 under par. He could get that done and perhaps even better than that on just the second day of this 111th U.S. Open Championship. Two players to do that were Gil Morgan, as you mentioned, at Pebble Beach, and uh, also Tiger Woods. You and about the only thing that's slowed down Rory so far has been the weight here at 16. The par five playing almost 580 yards. He is up. Look at the gallery right now. And the reason for the weight, so many of the players are going at this green in two. She's absolutely murdered it down the left center of the fairway. He'll be able to reach easily. Very comfortable shot. Just put it in the middle of the green. Don't worry about this front right hole location. Pass the hole to the left would be perfect. Let's launch another one way up in the air. Oh, All you can do is shake your head and laugh. No one's gotten a 13 under at the U.S. Open. Tiger to 12, but this man right now with that putt could get there. He's 11 under. First man to get the double digits in the second round. Just stress free. I mean, some of these shots are virtually leaving us uh, pretty much speechless. I mean, that one 
You couldn't have drawn it up any better. Four iron, 222, high, left to right. Played it right into the center of the green. See if you can knock this one in to get the lowest score ever in the U.S. Open. can't believe that didn't come down a little bit. So tap in birdie from McElroy to 12 under par on day two. His lead is nine. Still Rory going with an iron just to get the ball in play. no wind right now. It's getting a lot warmer in the last 45 minutes to an hour. Ball's traveling a long way. Go. to go. Likes it though. I guess. <laughs> what do you mean so-so? That's how dialed in he is. This one, there's not a lot in this one. Wants to go a little bit left. That's about it. Lower than anybody's ever been at the U.S. Open. And made it look easy. Low round of the day on day one. And again, by far, here on day two so far. This one is headed left. Mm, that's into the gallery. That'll be interesting to see. It obviously is going to be an area where the grass has been trampled down, so that could be an advantage. He's going to try to just hit this ball out to the right portion of the green. He's got a really good line. This ball is headed left. Oh, look out. Wow. So 18 is just clobbering. The lower route. If you could make this bogey, get off of this feeling a lot more positive than dropping yet another one. They both double. So. That was very careless with the second shot there. That's the only way you can describe it, and you can see his disgust as he tosses the ball into the water. I mean, absolutely no reason to uh, miss that shot to the left. Still, you look at the score, 65-66. That is very impressive play. You referenced after Augusta on that Sunday, having learned the need to remain aggressive as opposed to playing a more passive safe style how do you try to execute that over the weekend here yeah I think you just have to you know play to your spots but be aggressive to to the targets that you pick it might not be at a pin and it might not be uh, you know, hitting driver everywhere but you know staying aggressive and, and making really committed swings of the targets that you choose and and that's what I've been doing the first two days sets up for a nice draw I don't know if that's gonna draw this one's right why Yang, his playing competitor, was pointing right, and it is. Oh, it just came down right there. Went underground. And that looks thick. Well, he's got 157, and the lie is thick. Uh, has a tree limb, a tree in front of him that uh, he has to contend with. I think he's going to try to play underneath that limb, try to hit some kind of low cut if he could to see if he could get it to scoot up the fairway. I think he's pitching it out. Yeah, that's all he's doing now. He was rehearsing other things, John, but just decided play, to pitch it out. I think that was his game plan. You get in trouble, get it back out of trouble. Take my chances. 
This would be a confidence booster if he can get this up and in. How about just in? You're right, that is a huge momentum shot. And now McElroy for what would be a fantastic par. What a great save. Going, going all full throttle on that one. High draw, this going down the left side of the fairway, but I think will be good. It's good. So. Shot to place uphill and a little bit into the breeze. Well, this is drifting a little right. Well, that'll catch that front right bunker. And good lie here in the bunker. Ball hit up above the bunker and came back into it, so a good lie. Green well above position of the ball. Ball comes out and lands on a little bit of a downslope here, but uh, still think this is a, a doable bunker shot, John. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. doable, all right. You almost hold it. That's doable. So the short game has really sparked McElroy here and just to continue in some momentum. It hasn't been as easy tee to green, but he has saved himself a couple of pars early here. You know, I can see people can feel some greatness going on. Uh, potential greatness. I don't throw this greatness around too fast, but I think they know this man, a young man, has got greatness written all over him. And with, if he could win this one, it could open up the magic bottle, just like we saw Tiger. You called this the best swing in golf today, Johnny. I saw what uh, the talented yes, writer for the Washington the top, Post, the that Sally yeah. Jenkins, Ideal. wrote today in her article. I thought your quote in there was really telling. You said, even though there is acceleration in Rory's swing, it's from gravity. And then you look at his beautiful release, and you like Michelangelo to sculpt it in marble. I thought that was uh, really well said, and it was a really good article by Sally describing just the effortless swing that this guy has. Yeah, thank you. Um, watch this. We can see this again. You see, it doesn't look like he changes the speed. But that was a little quicker than a lot of times. But I think when he hits it, goes for it, um, he takes it back a little faster and then just keeps that fast motion throughout the whole swing. Roger, he's been knocking these close. So. Yeah, this is a shot that plays downhill slightly. John's 139 actual yardage, but you heard him say, I think it's playing about 130. Helping wind as well. Not much, but a little bit. A little left of the hole here, but good distance control. Just inside 15 feet will move a little to his right. Looks good. And all of a sudden it has taken on more of a Tiger-esque runaway feel. Steaming it up high and trying to hit it over that hill. Really? The hitter's got to take it down the left here, John. Got to challenge the left-hand side. Well, it seemed real high, was it? Very high and maybe turning too much left. Good. Got a little slice bounce and roll and uh, excellent. Uh, how about this, Roger? 212 front, Johnny. 224 left of the hole. Great chance for him to increase his lead. Now there's a twirly. He must, he must love it. And that's a little left of the hole, but it was solidly struck. Yep, that's a beauty. Um, like you said, Dan, the twirl was a thing for him. He picked that up from Tiger. If you're watching Tiger, you've had an influence on these young players. Should turn some to his left on the way down here. He should be quick going this direction. Looks like it's on a good line, but not quite high enough. Good speed. Just broke more than it looked. It broke a ton. So for the second time in this championship, McElroy is going to reach 13 under. McElroy to get to 13 under and Get his lead to nine over Yang and eight over Westwood and Day, who are in at five under. Well, it's the widest at uh, almost 36 yards. How about the easiest fairway to hit? Hardest green to hit. There's two of beauty. Well, up the left side. That's not going to kick out of the rough, Rog. Wow, that's going to hang it would up. get the kick to the right. Yeah, no, that's in the primary cut. He's drawn a pretty decent lie here in the left rough. 188 left of the hole. All below his feet. Be careful. Yeah, be careful right. 
Gary, yep. be a little, you know, arrogant, be mm -hmm. a little cocky. Got to be a little careful with the pace here. Should move pretty hard to the right. Oh, yes, How about that? Oh, there's a little of that attitude. This fist pump. Pretty hard to solve the question, the rough. Under par and lead back to eight. Uh, this is no problem. Right in the middle. Gosh. Wow. He is out playing a practice round. Man. Pulling that rear plateau. And this has got to play a good half club or a little bit more uh, you have to give it coming up this hill yeah we're seeing a lot of players coming up about a half club short and I I think it's hot so the golf ball's jumping but I think the players need to give it a little bit more to get it back to that plateau where the hole is Fair fight coming wow. from 2000. Well, I think he's been in remarkable control. He's driven the ball beautifully. Um, you know, he's been, I think, very calm on, out here. Oh, no. That's in. Yeah. No That's in. I like it. <laughs> That's in. No problem. Thank you very much. First to reach 14 under 14 in a U.S. Open. I think he's got the power to go ahead and hit a draw up there and, uh, and get it down there a bit. Kind of a knockdown, almost a little stinger kind of yeah. shot there right in the middle. Choked up on the club a little bit. That was fun to watch. Got 184 left in the hole, Gary. A shot that plays a little downhill. And I think it's just a solid seven iron. Get after it and hit it a little left of the hole. He likes to hit a draw. Just go ahead and hit a little draw left of the hole. Hit it way up in the air, just left of the hole. We have a little short. May catch a ridge and fall even farther away. That's down in Matt Kutcher territory. We saw Matt hit a great putt, but uh, we'll get another. Oh, he really doesn't have a three putt this week. As I said earlier, he wouldn't be the first to three putt from down there. I've seen several. Well, this one will test him, Raj. Is this one going to leak back to the right? Yeah, ever so slightly. Oh, that gently, very gently. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the heart. So that stat stays, stays. in taste. <laughs> exactly. This is an important drive. He really swung hard at it. Right? Oh. like he's protecting it. He's not. <laughs> he went left yesterday, which led to the double bogey, and he's just perfect. By the way, uh, let's see if Rory has another shot. 79 to the 66 that uh, Yang shot. So 153. Right. 153. Just keep it right at the hole. And he has done that. Yeah, that's a little spin. A little hook spin in there. That's getting better by the minute. That's a dirty opportunity. Well, now we push it to 15 under. Just unthinkable number through just three rounds in a U.S. Open. Looks like he's playing enough break. One of the few guys that knows to throw it out to the right. Let's see if, if it is. And like I said, it looks just as much as it looks like Roger. So it's going to be a third round, 68. 54 hole total of 199. And Rory McIlroy is one round away 
from erasing everything that happened back in April. Lowest of all time. You know, he's, he's wise enough to know today is not the day to celebrate. We've got to wait one more round and then we'll let all his hair down, so to speak. I think he's got a lot of that. <laughs> From Northern Ireland, Rory McElroy. So after the incredible play, for all the records, it really does boil down to this day, this moment to start it. Final round, trying to finish it off. Absolutely. There, right in the heart of the fairway, and very long of the three wood. You can knock it close by landing near the flag, or you can knock it close by getting past the flag and using the, the back slope. Yeah, this is from 117, perfect right, right on the edge of a divot, but it was like it was teed up. This will really spin, I think. Could be much more of a solid start for McElroy. Didn't bother him a bit. He doesn't miss hit many shots, Roger. Everything's really flush. He's got his left hand up higher. That's a Stockton ism. And then also he's making that left uh, wrist and, and hand go. Watch the fall throw. He holds it really dead. There is no give there. And that's just that's incredible to have the nerve to be able to keep that left, the back of that left hand just dead locked and right at the target. And when you do that, the ball just goes right at the hole. So I mean that was. On the 72nd, I mean, in his final round, first hole out of the box, to play that hole that perfectly, killed a three wood, perfect round underneath the hole, and hearted the putt. That, that's, a, that's, that's Tiger stuff. Back out to Rory Roger. That yeah, team moved well forward here on the fourth today, 421. A little different landing angle here with the whole dog legs left to right. Up the right side. Oh. And just sneaks out in the fairway. It's perfect now. That's from 122, Dan. I would imagine this might be six or eight feet right of the hole if he hits it where he's aiming. Well, it's just right of the hole. Drawing toward it. This should spin back there. What a beauty. In fact, McElroy was at home after missing the cut in Northern Ireland when he watched Graham McDowell survive it. His dad is always very positive, supports him, likes to stay in the background. His mother is the tough one, I understand. Rory was a pretty cocky young guy. A little like Tiger's mother, huh? Sometimes he needed to be talked to. And this performance continues with another bully at the court to push it to 16 under. Shots. Uh -huh. The members of Congressional are just shaking in their boots. This round surely in stark contrast to the Sunday at Augusta, that's for sure. Well, Roger, you coined the phrase of Tiger Woods on the. Oops. That takes a hard kick left into that bunker. That's close to the left, even though. But you, you know, cover Tiger and all his great performances. This has got to be right up there with the Tiger performance. Right? It's getting a little goose bumpy. <laughs> got the club stuck in there a little bit. This is going left and. Hey there. That'll be a long okay. birdie attempt. Well, probably a little better than 60 feet. And the first half slightly uphill, and then it crosses a ridge that separates the left and right side of these of this green, and then uh, it'll start to run away from it. Still no three putts for the entire championship. Two putts from here would be good. Did you hit it? it? Looks like it's got to get going a little bit. This is going to come up short. Way short. So Way that short. streak on the line again. Yeah, it's twice he's done that. And it's from just inside nine feet. I 
think it would want to move just a little bit to his left. Just two holes as he dropped a shot. Double bogey at 18, bogey at 10. See, that was a couple kids. of good uh, viewing spots. Kids Curtis love to see that. Yeah, we'll see if he can make it. Again, oh, McElroy showing us something. Roger, what you got? Seven iron. A little different tool. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the players have been hitting sixes and maybe a few fives. Haven't seen many sevens, but this kid is long. I think he's playing the draw, Peter. Well, that is the shot shape for this whole location. And he is shaping it right to left. It's staying right in the hole toward the center of the green. Good shot. Beautiful shot. He is on cruise control, Roger. said you got to hit this flush Rogers don't guarantee you know when you're a little nervous this is the last real nervous hole for him so, oh, this is a six iron oh! strike seemed good look at him oh, this is a good looking shot too if the distance is right right over the stick is it going to come back here it comes got a little momentum to it look at this look at this <laughs> Look at everybody just smiling and enjoying it. I mean, it's really something to see. You are seeing a potential super, super, superstar in the making. Security surrounding Rory as he comes down the hill into the 10th green. You know, after his press conference yesterday, this is a town that certainly knows all about security. You should have seen Rory. I mean, his, his fame and stardom has taken a whole new level of what he's been doing here. He happened to be at the press conference and watch his getaway. They whisked him off into an SUV courtesy car. And the plan was simple. They took him right to the back of the congressional clubhouse. And it was all, it was just all in one motion, kind of like a swing. <laughs> the, the kitchen doors of the clubhouse of congressional, of the kitchen, ripped open. In he went with three security guards, and that's the last anybody saw of him. And he, of course, disappeared to a dinner spot with his uh, good friend Lee Westwood and his agent Chevy Chandler. But uh, this is what is it's going to be like for Rory McIlroy. And that was what Tiger Woods was able to deal with so well was that extra level of superstardom that comes along with doing things like this. So far, he's been incredible, but it's going to take on really another new level. I think he'll do it in a much kinder, gentler way. Than uh, Tiger. I'm not criticizing Tiger. The Tiger did it more in a Ben Hogan mm -hmm. way in that he sort of tried to do it. And that's an example of what I'm talking about. The Tiger was on his bellies along the shore of the water. You know, that was a pressure shot. He knew that this was the hole that he could wash a couple balls in the lake. And to hit that shot that he hit, uh, shows me a lot because that was a dangerous shot. And this gives this incredible amphitheater saying a little mm -hmm. something to hang on to as he plays the final nine as he's going to come circling back down 18, which is just across the water in a couple hours or so. And there was a lot of the official fans uh, enjoying that shot. An amazing amount of great shots hit, though. I mean, you can talk about the conditions being easy or whatever. And of course, it's for two. 17 under. Now, but we have seen an amazing amount of great shots this open. McElroy now with a three wood. It's a tough fairway to hit. You can see it. Players can't see the fairway where the ball's going to hit. It's just kind of a controlled, almost a knockdown kind of shot. Going down to the left center. This is fine. Perfect. Give him an advice. I really 
ask him a question. I just sort of, uh, uh, I said, you know, I said, I'm uh, sorry about what happened at the Masters. I said, uh, I hope you learn from it. I said, we all, uh, all of us have had our problems, and coming down the stretch, we've had to learn uh, uh, what mistakes we've made and how do we handle them and uh, what, uh, what we did. And he said, yeah, I think I did. I said, well, I said, you know, make sure you did, because the next time you get yourself in that position, you got to remember what you did and what you didn't do, and you got to remember what you want to do and go do it. We're watching and, a second you know, I shot. I think he's a, he's a very sharp young man. He's smart as a whip, and uh, he just sort of, uh, you know, I think he absorbed what we were talking about. Of course, when we met in Palm Beach uh, uh, last year, we he, he wanted to talk to me about how to finish a golf tournament. And so we talked a little bit about that. I told him what I did and how I approached it and so forth. I talked about how I prepared for tournaments and that kind of thing. And, uh, you know he's uh, he wants to learn. He wants to he wants to get better. And uh, you know when you got young young people who want to do that, uh, you take an interest in them and you want to follow their career and, and wish them well. Back on 14 now, Roger. It was great to hear Jack's perspective on Rory and this young talent. Yeah, he was dead spot on. I mean, he, you know, Rory still plays like a kid, which is great at his age. You can see when he's disappointed, when he's not. Miss putt now uphill, going to move to his right. That's, it. That's a good looking putt. Oh my. Oh, that was a good looking putt. Jack said he walks and acts cocksure. A little bit, I wouldn't call it arrogant, but he's just so confident. And as you said, he's having fun. After all, golf is a game. When his agent Chubby Chandler and Darren Clark first met Rory McIlroy, he was just 12 years old, and that is exactly Jake how Chubby described him. He was cocksure. He had definitely uh, bordered on a little bit of arrogance there. Just a young kid who knew he had a lot of talent. Over to the tee at 16, where there are no such problems. McElroy ready to go. When turning up the left hand side at the bunkers. Well, will be a sure layup. Right, McElroy just avoid the look of the bunker. Yeah, I'll get it up quickly. I wouldn't think you'd get it. That's much more than 120 or 30 yards from here. Go down, go down, go down. That's probably a lesson he learned when he was second hole the final day at Augusta. He was in a fairway bunker and. Uh, Tried to get too much out of it, caught the lip. Not the case there. And you gotta love the pace of play here, Raj. Ready to go. Ready to go. 134. That's a wedge. This is right at it too. Oh, catch that down slow. <laughs> For McElroy. You watch, he, he's going to pound this thing. This is not some little finesse shot. I think the game plan has changed it all. Aggressive, free flowing, that's what he wanted to do. He... Oh, yes, keep it going. I think it's a good one. I think this is going to be fine. Well, it is. Sitting up. Well, it's not bad. That's a good shot. Six iron down there in a nice wedge with spin and try it from there. And there is Jerry right on the spot, Rory's father. He can't wait for the hug that's going to happen. Maybe on that 72nd hole down the way. I think the best thing to do is that right side of the green. 201 lies okay. Yeah. He's hitting it very high. At the very right side of the green, and it's going to come up just a little shy. But that's pretty good. That's where you're supposed to hit it when you're in the rough. Well, he's not loving it, but you can tell he's a competitor. He wants to hit every shot great. That's really a cool sign. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 17 yeah. bothered him a little bit, and even the way he played 18, but it shows that he wants every shot is precious to him. 
And you talk about a dreamlike moment. Going down the fairway on the 72nd hole at a U.S. Open with a nine-shot lead. And again, all of it coming after the disaster at Augusta. The day after he shot 80 at the Masters. On his Twitter account, he put out a quote from Muhammad Ali the day after. And it said, it's repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. Using the quote from Muhammad Ali. And so he didn't wallow in it. He moved on from it, gained strength from it. And it's come out in unbelievable fashion this week. Father Jerry likes to stay in the background, stay out of the limelight, let it all shine on his son. Well, he's going to be a part of this. This breaks left, but the big thing is to get the right uh, distance control. He's got to get up over this hill. That's a, that's a great part. Not just a good part, but a great part. I mean, that's a crazy good part, Roger. Why not, Johnny? Why not? <laughs> that, was, that is really, that makes it really joyful. There must be 15,000 crowd around this amphitheater. And this will finish off a dream week for a 22-year-old. States Open champion. Jim Heiler, I'm the president of the United States Golf Association. Please join me in welcoming our 111th U.S. Open champion, Rory McIlroy. Every U.S. Open is played under different conditions. So what is the absolute best performance is to some extent subjective. But strictly by the numbers, you set or tied 12 records, lowest in relation to par, lowest total score. Can you play any better than this? I could have held a couple more putts today. Um, overall, the whole week has been incredible. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't ask for much more. And I'm um, just so happy to be holding this trophy. Obviously, to win it under any circumstance is something special. But are you aware that this is one of the most notable victories in the long history of this championship? Yeah, I am. You know, um, <laughs> you know, I know how good Tiger was in 2000 to uh, you know win by 15 at Pebble, um, and I was trying to go out there today and uh, emulate him in some way. You know, I played great for four days and. Uh, you know, I couldn't be happier. You've now been in contention at the last four majors, and finally you win this one. What did the experience of the previous three, especially the most recent one at Augusta, do for you, and how did it play into this weekend? You know, Augusta was a very valuable experience for me. Um, you know, I, I knew what I needed to go. I, I knew what I needed to do today uh, to win, and. Augusta, I learned a few things about myself and about my game, and uh, I put a few different things into practice and uh, paid off. Anything you want to reveal? No. <laughs> well, I tried. 
near ace at 10. That would have been sweet. Yeah, I'm very happy with the two there any day. Um, <laughs> you know, that was the, you know, the, the point in the round that I really felt that you know, it was mine to lose then, uh, even though I went out with a big lead. But uh, after making two there on one of the most difficult holes on the golf course, um, to make two there and get away with a four on 11, you know, I knew I needed to do something um, pretty bad to lose it. So, um, no, I played solid on the way in and, you know, here I am. Your dad was here. What have you said to him since uh, you signed your card, since you finished? What does it mean to you to have him here? It means the world. Um, happy Father's Day, Dad. Here we are. This one's for you. And for the record, it is considered Father Day, Father's Day in Northern Ireland, right? This is Father's is, Day. Yeah. Um, you know, I have to mention my dad, but I also have to mention my mum, who's back home as well. Um, I know she's watching. And, uh, you know, everything that my mum and dad have done for me over the years, um, you know, I, I can't thank them enough. Graham McDowell, who of course won it last year, said that the odds on two straight U.S. Open winners from Northern Ireland are pretty much like a lottery number. I thought I had a pretty good chance. Uh, <laughs> that was before you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, for such a such a small nation, uh, to win two U.S. Open opens in a row is uh, is pretty special so you know i know there'll be uh, as graham said last year a lot of pints of guinness going down about this time and um he said they'd keep the pubs open late last year they'll probably do the same this year i hope so i hope so um i know a few of my friends will be out partying and i can't wait to get back home and join them you have lots of fans here. People yelling as we're talking, love you, Rory. We heard the chants of Rory, Rory. Will you play more in the United States after this? I might have to. <laughs> Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Dan, there's your U.S. Open champion. Potential.